So I'm probably likely to take my old Toshiba laptop with me when I go on the road, which is a little bit like leaving the Ferrari at home in the garage and taking the Corolla to do the shopping. When you're buying new equipment like laptops, YouTube is a fantastic resource. It's full of all these tech experts who can give you the lowdown on gear. I'm not one of those people. I get by, but I'm one of those people who has to Google the fix and follow a set of instructions to get where I want to be. Recently, I purchased a Dell XPS 15 laptop computer. I'm moving into the world of content creation and I needed a machine that was capable of handling video editing software like DaVinci Resolve. Now, I have a quite capable laptop that's six years old. It's a Toshiba Tecra and it handles all of the Microsoft Office applications that I use in my regular day job. Things like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, etc. But I thought I'd upgrade and get myself a machine that could handle all of those day-to-day -day Microsoft Office activities, but also handle the video editing functions that I needed. So I purchased the Dell XPS 15 after watching countless YouTube videos and determined that it was the right machine for me. And I spec'd it up pretty high. It's got an 11th gen Intel i7 processor, 32 gig of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, and the NVIDIA GeForce 3050 Ti graphics card. Although I did get it with the standard 1920 by 1200 high definition screen because I'm planning on using it with a couple of external monitors. So I've had it now for a month. What do I think? Well, it's a great looking unit, but I did have a number of teething issues, which for the money I paid, I find pretty frustrating. The first issue I encountered was when I loaded up the Microsoft Office suite of applications. Teams fail to load. I use Microsoft Teams all the time for my consulting business. And when I tried to start Teams, I got one of those error messages that you click 10 times before it goes away. I uninstalled and reloaded Teams a number of times, but I couldn't get that error message to disappear. I could not get Teams to load. So following my usual process, I searched on YouTube and I found videos by people that are much smarter than me who have solved this problem. But I have to say, it was a very long convoluted process to work through this issue but eventually I got Microsoft Teams to work. Now that was a pretty scary process for an idiot like me. And to be honest, for the money I paid, I expect Microsoft Teams to load up on the first day I used my new computer. Issue number two, the headphone jack didn't work. When I plugged my headphones in, the sound kept coming out through the laptop speakers. Once again, I did a bit of Googling and thanks to the Dell community, I found that this is a problem that has occurred for others and it required me to uninstall and reinstall the Realtek sound driver. Not a big deal, but just disconcerting that something so fundamental should be inoperable on arrival. Issue number three. Now, one of the known limitations of the XPS 15 is that it doesn't have many external ports. It's got two Thunderbolt ports and a USB-C port. Now I knew that, so I ordered a Dell docking station, but after I ordered it, I was advised that there would be delay of four months. So I was limited to the dongle that was supplied, which has an HDMI and a USB port. Now I connected an external monitor via this HDMI port, and it worked fine for a few days, but then after a while, the screen kept flashing on and off. And you could tell by looking at the laptop screen that the computer was recognizing, but then not recognizing that an external monitor had been connected. Now this problem appears to only happen with one of the two Thunderbolt ports. So there appears to be an issue with that particular port. There's an easy workaround, of course. I'm using one of the other Thunderbolt ports. But once again, it's a bit disappointing that only two of the three ports seems to be functioning fully. Now, because I like to work with two external monitors and because my Dell docking station wasn't going to arrive for four months, I actually canceled the order for the docking station and I bought myself a Dell hub monitor, the U2722DE USB-C hub monitor. Now I was able to connect the hub monitor to one of the Thunderbolt ports. Then I was able to daisy chain my old monitor to the hub monitor using an active data port to DVI cord because my old monitor doesn't have a data port input. So that works fine. But one disappointing limitation of the hub monitor relative to the XPS 15 is that the hub monitor supplies 90 watts of power back to the laptop, but the XPS 15 requires a 130 watt power supply. And therefore, if I just used the hub monitor to power the laptop, the battery would slowly go flat. So the dream of having the single cable connection between the Dell XPS 15 and the Dell hub monitor doesn't work because Dell's hub monitor doesn't provide sufficient power 
for the Dell XPS 15. Now, I should have been able to work that out before I bought the monitor, but I assume that having bought the top of the range Dell Hub monitor, that it would provide sufficient power to a Dell XPS 15 laptop computer. Having bought the Hub monitor though, I connected my external speakers to the audio output on the Hub monitor. But I'm finding that when I use programs like DaVinci Resolve, which use a lot of processing power, the sound cuts out on the external speakers and the sound reverts to the onboard speakers of the laptop. And the only way to solve that issue is a restart. It doesn't happen all the time. It only happens after I've been using Resolve for half an hour or so which once again is pretty annoying. I bought the XPS 15 because I thought it would handle something like DaVinci Resolve effortlessly. And finally, the only issue that so far I haven't found a workaround for is that a number of programs continuously crash. Chrome crashes all the time. Now it restarts pretty quickly and it restores the pages that I was looking at on restart, so it's not a big issue. But I've never had that problem with my Toshiba laptop. Now I've uninstalled and reinstalled Chrome several times, but it's not an issue that I've been able to work around so far. Similarly, when I bought the XPS 15, I wanted to use a Sony product called Catalyst Browse, which takes a lot of processing power. I haven't been able to get Catalyst Browse to operate for more than a minute or two on the XPS 15. It continuously crashes. And once again, I've uninstalled and reinstalled Catalyst Browse, but I can't seem to get it to operate. Now that's pretty disappointing because it's one of the reasons I paid up big dollars for the XPS 15. So would I buy a Dell XPS 15 again? To be honest, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably buy a desktop that had all the capabilities I needed and didn't have the constraints that are inherent when they have to engineer laptop computers. To be honest, at the moment, I don't know if I've got the confidence to take the Dell XPS 15 on the road with me because I do long presentations in hotel conference rooms where you have to connect to any old random data projector that's supplied. Now, if some of the external ports on my Dell XPS 15 are unreliable, I don't wanna have the feed to the data projector cutting in and out in the middle of my presentation. So I'm probably likely to take my old Toshiba laptop with me when I go on the road, which is a little bit like leaving the Ferrari at home in the garage and taking the Corolla to do the shopping. So I'm not gonna tell you whether to buy an XPS 15 or not, I'll leave you to make your own judgments. If you've got any solutions to some of the issues I'm facing and you're yelling at the screen saying, you idiot, all you need to do is X, Y, Z, well then please put it in the comments box below. I'd love to hear from you. If I've helped you make a purchasing decision either way, well, you're welcome.